You've lived here your whole life or you just moved to Atlanta. We hear all the time from people. I hear from people at grocery stores or Home Depot or anywhere like that talking about things that have happened in the city, that this is such an interesting place of, hey, do you remember when you covered this back then and this guy, whatever became of this guy? Well, it's one of the reasons that we have launched a new series exploring some of the city's great figures, great narratives, stories you may have forgotten about, kind of our Atlanta. This is, this is an Atlanta that uh, is long ago and far away, oftentimes that has great correlation to where we are today. And now we have the story of a former Falcons coach who butted heads with players, fans, and reporters. December's a tough month for Falcons coaches historically. It's the, the month they always get fired. But if you were a Falcons fan back in the 1960s into the 70s, you remember Norm Van Brocklin. Here is Norm from the perspective of his daughter as she shares artifacts with the NFL to auction during Super Bowl week next, uh, next month. This is where we live. A treasure trove from one of the league's greatest players who served as the head coach of the Atlanta Falcons between 1968 and 1974, Norm Van Brocklin, the Dutchman. I want people to appreciate the goodness of the man. Karen Vanderwijde is the oldest daughter of the legendary quarterback from the University of Oregon. I think a lot of stuff that was written and said about my dad through his playing career and coaching career, there's a lot of inaccuracies. There's a lot of hurtful things that were said that stuck with him. After he died of a heart attack in 1983, his New York Times obituary described him as a stormy figure as a player and a coach, while also highlighting the teams he built coaching the Vikings and Falcons. There was a very deep, profound uh, goodness about him, but he could also have a biting tongue. He told it like he saw it. You know, not everybody can handle that. He led the NFL in passing three times and in punting twice, appearing in nine Pro Bowls. In 1968, Coach Van Brocklin joined the Falcons, who had only won three games in two expansion seasons. He led the Falcons to their first winning season, 7-6-1 in 1971, and 9-5 in 1973. Then went 2-6, and six, and owner Rankin Smith fired him. So did Coach Van Brocklin regret coming to Atlanta? No, because I think that was my dad. He felt he could do something really great here in Atlanta. They came very close. 